Hello and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis where I'm going to be analyzing the Bitcoin chart for you going over the next important support and resistance levels that we can be looking to trade going into the week ahead. I also want to start off personally with a bit of a really positive, lovely message for myself before we get into the charts here. And I also would like to just also mention that this market right now is a totally open free market. I say, what do you mean by that? What I mean by that is right now, you might be thinking to yourself, wow, we are in a really, really strong uptrend. I would never short Bitcoin right now. Uh, you know, this uptrend is too strong. It's short squeezing X, Y, and Z. But I'm going to show you in today's video that there are actually many shorts to be had because this move up that we are seeing right now is one of the most controlled moves that I've seen in a while. This is a very controlled and well-respected move to the upside. Every level of technical analysis is being respected perfectly. We are on top of that seeing controlled ways of moving up with putting in a range, breaking the range, moving on to form another range, putting in another range, breaking that range, moving up to form another range. E.g. it's just it's just continuously building up value in <clears throat> what I would refer to anyway as a, a pretty easy way of trading. You know, ranges are pretty easy to trade. You just have to not get greedy, especially, for example, if you are shorting the top of the ranges, you cannot expect to hold that short for ages. You have to be very, you know, very strict on yourself and so to speak with your take profits, of course. But um, yeah, I want to go over that basically in today's video, taking a look at the charts, how we are building up the value, where we could look, obviously, in my opinion, it's very easy to recognize the next sign of weakness, which could lead to obviously a big drop to the downside. And, you know, just how to be prepared for this and, uh, you know, be, be basically ready for, for the scenarios to come. So I hope that you do enjoy this video. And as I said at the start, I want to start off with, you know, give me three minutes. I want to just talk about a really, for me anyway, puts a massive, massive smile on my face, gives me so much energy and love. I just, I think this is lovely. And that is obviously over the past few months, we've been going across to, you know, a few different countries, meeting up with people. Uh, obviously, this is obviously meeting up primarily with the uh, champions members within the champions group. This is a bit of a perk, I suppose, for the champions right now. But last weekend, Oh, this was a fun one. This was over in the Netherlands and uh, yeah, meeting up with some of the chart champions members. You see this, the, the new guy, I never met him before, but Younes, shout out to Younes, the Elliott Wave champ. Um, but yeah, no, for me, this is just like the really special part of, and it, it's just so nice to put like a face to the picture, see people talk about trading, you know, just share that passion that we love of trading and just like seeing people from all walks of life coming together. And uh, it's just really, 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 really nice. For me, that is... Um, Oh man, I, I just really, really enjoy this. <laughs> that's, that's how the night ended. But um, yeah, it was. It's obviously really, really fun. And how do you come around this? Well, I, I'm actually I'm I'm planning to talk about a few different swing trades that I have right now. I currently have four different swing trade running. Um, and so it's like when if you want to go out, if you want to travel, if you want to you know go out with your family, do other things. You know, swing trading is the way is the style of trading, obviously, for you. And I'm getting more and more into swing trading. And it's all about doing the initial really, you know, doing your hard work, doing your analysis, entering the trade, and let the trade run. Let the trade run until invalidation. And you literally can be meeting up with champions. You can be sat at the beach. You can be on an airplane. You can be doing whatever you want and still making money. As long as you have that strict plan you know where you're entering, you know where you're wrong, you know where you're targeting. I, I, I am really enjoying swing trading at the moment. And this is the last bit of inspiration that I want to show you because this is proof in the pudding, so to speak. This is a guy from last week. This is one week trade, by the way. One week trade with 46 Bitcoin profit. 46 Bitcoin profit in a week. That's over two and a half million dollars, by the way. Two and a half million dollars in uh, just, just one week of trading. This is a guy that I have mentored myself. Uh, if you want some inspiration, this guy started trading with $10,000. He started with just $10,000. Well, just $10,000. $10,000, yeah? And from here, he is not, let's just say he has a lot of millions. I don't want to go into exact. But you can kind of tell from the position sizes. The guy's trading 156 Bitcoin position sizes. $10,000 to being a multi, 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 multi millionaire from trading alone. Like that is inspirational. Now like, you got to think, wow, put in the effort, put in the work and the proof is just in the pudding every single step of the way. Uh, I mean, some of the people that we were obviously met on the Netherlands are, are crazy successful. People with the group are crazy successful. And it all just comes down from having the technical analysis ready and waiting as many of us will say, have the patience, have the plan, 
crush the charts. And uh, with that said, let's get into the analysis of today, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you like that little bit of an inspirational way to start, sending my love, sending my positivity. And uh, yeah, let's now share the passion of trading. So obviously the last update that I gave you was on Friday. And on Friday, we we're obviously going through this parallel channel. Well, at the time, it hadn't even formed the channel, of course. But we were recognizing our, our sideways channel that we had on the charts. And this was way back here on the chart, by the way, back on the 7th. And then for the next following three days, we actually fully rotated within this channel. So this, you know, this is the important thing, you know, recognizing those channels early, not being scared to short up the highs, not being scared to long at the lows, but trading that channel until it breaks, as we would always say. If we add back on that channel now, just to see, show you how this progressed, we can obviously see here, we have, you know, just brilliant how we rotated every time from the highs to the lows to the highs to the lows they're not here we obviously start to close or, or spend more time towards the highs at testing the middle of the channel breaking up again coming back to the middle of the channel so what are you starting to recognize here well i would recognize this very early what we are doing is we're forming overall this sideways channel as recognized way back here on the 7th of october but from here, we've also started to put in a series of higher highs and higher lows. What is this? This is bullish market structure. We can actually attach then a very nice channel onto this. As you can see, if we hide the lower channel, knowing that we have obviously broken out of the side of the sideways, we're then putting in the up sloping channel, which is again still rotating from the highs to the lows, from the highs to the lows, from the highs. But then we are putting in our series of higher lows. EG is bullish market structure. And obviously, you can see then yesterday how this was even well respected, even on the lower term time frames. You can see how we are getting breakouts, back tests, moves up. You know, obviously, this is the thing. Some of these levels are getting, you know, front run slightly, but overall, the technical analysis is, 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 is very well respected. And this is what we mean. You can be down here on the 5, 15, 30 minute time frames. EG, I would refer to this as day trading time frames, maybe for sculpt slash day traders. Uh, you could be down here on the lower term time frames and taking 10 trades a day, or you could be a swing trade taking one or even zero trades a day if you're letting your trade run. And at the end of the day, you're coming out with similar amount of profits because it's just, you you know, you do it taking more trades, you you know, on the lower term time frames. But I wouldn't say you're making more money necessarily. But, you know, it's just a different style of trading, of course. But it's it, the, the beauty of it is that it's respected on the five minute up to the five day sort of thing. You know, it's every time frame is getting the respect that you want. And it's just opening up so much opportunities right now, on, literally on every single time frame. Uh, so you might be thinking to yourself, okay, then this, this is beautiful. What, what do we have on the higher term time frames then as, as a sort of resistance areas for myself? So I will remind, I will, uh, I suppose pretty much everybody knows this by now, but the, 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 the swing longs that I have, which I just feel Honestly, I feel very proud about, very, you know, what can I say, very happy about it. I have one swing long from 28,800. I have one swing long from 29,000. Um, 29,000 uh, well, was literally the low, so it was about 29, 29,500-ish. So I have those two swing longs from the absolute low of these moves. Then I have the third swing long from $39,550, which was obviously managing to time that low. And then I have my last swing long, which was originally from trading the channel, the sideways channel. And obviously we saw the break of the, obviously in the end of that channel. And I've decided to hold that one for a swing, you know, a bit, bit longer than pre-anticipated. So that leaves me with, with four, what I would refer to as swing longs right now. Obviously, all massively in, in, in profits. But the thing is that I, I have no reason to aggressively close these. Why? Because I've, I've recognized the trends that we are in. Obviously, the $29,000 and the $28,000 longs, they were from recognizing we have a good chance, a very high probability of putting in a significant low here. And then from here, it's been just just trading the trends. Obviously, on the back test of the 39500 we I, I knew this was coming. And so it's just a case of getting into the original trades and not closing the trade too early. You know, how many times have you got into a really nice trade and you've closed it after 1% move and then it moves on 100%. You're like, oh, man, why did I close all my trade? You know, I, I used to do this when I started trading and now I am very, very, very good at making a plan, sticking to that plan, not closing it too early. Yeah. Why would I close early if I'm not invalidated on an idea? Well, I wouldn't do it because I've recognized this is not a good way to trade. So I'm very good at holding my plans as, as, many people will be able to vouch. Um, so basically what I'm looking for now is a sign of weakness. Yeah. If I'm in really nice swing longs, why would I want to close out when we're still holding for even the most basic things of bullish market structure? Yeah. It's, it's just not 
something I would do for the swings. So what we're looking at here is we got our next higher term time frame levels above us and where we could we be referring to as resistance, okay? So obviously, you know, you know, shout out to Mike. Mike done a video for you all last week. He made it extremely simple. He said, break, break. He literally said in one words, in one sentence, sorry, break the weekly. I'm looking for $58,000. Yeah, that was break the weekly all the way back down here. I'm looking for $58,000. Simple as that. He's made his plan. He's executing his plan. Here we are up at $58,000. You know, it's, it can be, it can be as simple as that if you've done your hard work to start with. And so we are, yes, we are reaching finally the mic level of $58,000. Of course, this is a really, uh, we, we have to say this is a big region of resistance all the way up to $61,000. Um, again, if we start to put in our ranges, you can be taking the day trades. But this is a definite region of resistance. I, I wouldn't be turning euphorically bullish up at the heart, uh, up, up at this zone because Nah, they just don't have any requirement to do this. So uh, I would be taking caution at these levels. Yeah, I would be looking to hedge myself. Um, you know, I'm recognizing three, you know, really two to three levels above us of, of really, 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 really big resistance. Uh, but if obviously if if we breach these resistances, it's like it's like when we had that daily level. Uh, this was only one that I showed to the champions, I think. I can't remember if I showed this to everybody. But, um, you know, it's like levels like this. If you have a big level of resistance, but then you are getting above it and holding it as support, then levels can flip to from resistance into support, of course. So it's again like this. If we can break $58,000 and hold it as support, that would be a very big resistance turning into support. So, of course... You have to um, you have to trade the charts. It's not like you can just say, "Oh, this is resistance," and if you're going above it, you don't just short resistance. Then, if it's going above and above and above, hold on to it and hold on to it. No, you got to accept. You got to lose biases. You got to lose egos and say, "Hey, this this level's flipped. <laughs> Let's look to continue to trade this trend." Um, but nevertheless, where I'm going here is, of course, fifty eight thousand dollars is is naturally a big level of resistance, and I would I would say this zone is all the way up to sixty one k. It's it's quite a zone, uh, or, or you know, of, of pretty strong resistance. But if we can clear that, of course, we can head up to all time highs. Why I like to approach these type of trades is simultaneously. I'm not going to close out these these swing longs until I see a sign of weakness. So, you know. How do I get into such advantageous positions? Well, it is literally by <laughs> having good trading plans and then sticking to them. So, yeah, of course, I'm going to simultaneously hold the longs. I don't want to close them because I have no need. But I will be looking 100% as I have been even during this range, even within this little range that we're within here on this five minute chart. This is what I was saying yesterday. Uh, we've already, you know, we're sculpting the ranges. We know our levels of support. We know our levels of resistance. Here I am saying, you know, we've previously had taken a long from the bottom of the range, which I'd always also gave in the group. This is the range to trade. We obviously come down. We took basic formed a little bit of a deviation. We got back into the range. That for me was the long. I'm telling to my group, right, this is the next target, e.g., e this POC on, on the CC. And you know, the levels you're coming up to the you're coming up to the levels. This obviously got a bit of a pullback after this. But you can see this is a five minute time frame. So it's like on the five minute time frame, up until the daily time frame, up until the weekly time frame, you're able to take, you're able to extract money from this market 100%. Like the levels of respect, you know, just to the dollar. It makes me really excited. It makes me really, really, really happy. I mean, you just saw that one there. Look at this. We back tested the daily again. Back test the daily. Look at this. This look just, just, just. This is in front of your eyes, back testing the daily, holding it as demand and seeing another move to the upside. I mean, if you're down here on the five minute time frames, the one, five, 15 minute time frames, you're able to sculpt these trades. It is just absolutely outstanding. Um, <laughs> it really, really, really is. But um, yeah, so that, that would obviously be the level towards the upside for 58 to 61. Of course, it's a really big region. If you want more levels as they're coming in of course this is why that you join the champions group you have myself Igor, mike victor trading assistant you know every single day going through levels going through updates i mean literally trading assistant does a trading update video every single day there's a lot of content being pumped out um uh, so yeah there's definitely a ways that you could get our levels quicker but anyway moving back that that for me is the region of resistance and it is viewed as a region obviously to support to the downside we're still looking for a break in market structure, which on the higher term time frame would be coming down and losing. A, basically, for, for me, the important support there is 40, 50, sorry, 54,300. That would signal to us our first first sign of weakness. I wouldn't call it a great sign of weakness. It really depends on that volume. It, it massively depends on the volume 
the open interest and the delta on the decline. Of course, it does with 100% certainty. I would expect a decline in open interest, but I would be aware of the delta and the volume that comes in on that decline on open interest. Wouldn't really expect an increase on a move to the downside. Pay attention to what I say. And um, yeah, so, but for me, that would be the, obviously the first sign of weakness. Yeah. Uh, we would be losing point of controls. We would be starting to change our market structure. We'd be starting to see pullbacks off of higher term time frame resistance. Does this mean we're going to, does this mean we're going to drop all the way to $20,000? Of course not. We have next, next secondary levels of support, but this would be our first major sign of weakness, okay? That we would look for our pullback to our next layers of support. Well, of course, we're not looking for foam, full-blown moves to $20,000 in a day sort of thing. No, that would be, that would be insane. But what we're looking for is, okay, We've got our bullish market structure right now. It's like I've said it many, many times. <laughs> you know, I'm holding on to swing longs. I have no reason to close this. I am ready to short at literally at each level of resistance. Within this within this range, I took three short positions. Now we are above the level where I was taking the shorts. Those shorts all made money. Why? Because I knew where my I knew where my take profits were. I knew where I was moving my stop loss to entry. And I'm just trying, you know, I'm just trying to trade this range until it breaks. Some of these scopes, if we had broken down from the range, hey, I could have tipped my take profit one, seen the loss of the range, hopefully I've got a back test, compound it on, build up a position like that, a scope that can turn into a swing sort of thing. But right now, I know my levels, uh, which I, I've, I've, I've gone through in this video. I've got, gone through basically, for me, a very big, important level above us. Um, you know, our important level of support to the downside, which is obviously where we'd be looking for the liquidation runs, where our market structure would potentially change. If we are then losing that range, that would obviously be, you know, these are our signs of weakness. And this is this is how I build up my charts, really. You know, this, this is how I do it. So it's like building up your channels, looking at the open, you know, looking at basically the order flow coming in. That's give, giving you your entries on the lower term time frame. I mean, I don't really want this video to go on really uh, to 16 minutes. I'll try and do this really quickly. But obviously, yeah, I mean, look at this. So this is this is pretty beautiful. Look at that. So you saw the 70, 73 million short positions. This is insane, actually. You just saw 73 million shorts open on the back test of the daily. So it's just like... Uh, yeah, that, 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 that's absolutely insane. But <laughs> actually, that's insane. <laughs> so you just saw 73 million shorts open right there. Uh, on to back onto the back test of daily support. Um, so, yeah, I mean, that, that, that's really, really crazy. Actually, it, it is actually pretty crazy because that's a hell of a lot of shorts. Uh, the last time you saw 73, you're going to have to go back a long time in the charts. I really can't remember the last time you saw 73 million open like that. Yeah, look how far you have to go back. None of these. Here was the last time. Yeah, 75 million shorts open and they got squeezed. So yeah, you have to obviously be very careful uh, when you when you are shorting. You know, this is the thing. I wouldn't open a 75 million short in market like that in the above daily support because I would be looking if I want to open such positions and liquidity run above the highs, for example, not in the middle of the range. Like this for me is not a prime opportunity. Of course, can we continue down yes of course but for me it's all about the highest probability trade i am not after randomly shorting in the middle of a range I, if i want to short i would only short literally i would try and literally try and get my shorts in at the highs because this market is currently in an uptrend so why would you short you know i would question this guy what that what on earth are you thinking shorting 75 million here this is a really weird place to do it like come and join chart champions and learn how to trade <laughs> because you need some lessons <laughs> Yeah, you need some lessons. Uh, but, you know, you just have to wait for prime opportunities. Obviously, yesterday on the lower term time frames, you see prime opportunities like this, for example. You see prime opportunities such as this, for example. You know, in the middle in the middle of the range where you are obviously on the back of a downtrend, that is not a prime high, high probability trade. Yeah. Uh, anyway, I, I digress. I digress. Uh, that was just basically what you're looking at with the order flow. Uh, so currently, just to uh, emphasize one more time, in my swing longs, uh, I'm, I'm more, more than more than happy to take shorts on this market. Really, I am. Uh, literally, my last one was off of the top of the range. Uh, so, you know, even this on the five minute time frame, we're starting to form a range. I've already been trading it. So, yeah, overall, I'm enjoying the swing trades. Hopefully on the next meetup next week, we'll get to see even more champions. People are able to make absolutely massive amounts of money by just following the ideas. Thank you for calling higher last week. He walks away with $2.5 million in profit. Um, shout out to the guy. He has he has studied hard, to be fair to him, uh, and deserves it. 
And uh, yeah, then it obviously comes down to finding the ranges, trading the ranges, looking out for signs of weakness, e.g. even coming back into this channel could be a sign of weakness, of course. Um, it would be a loss of the daily, loss of the channel. So it's just, it comes down to this, my friends. Do your analysis, put in the hard work, trade the levels, you know, sit back and relax. If there's no trade, don't trade. Be patient, wait for the levels, wait for the analysis. If you want any help, of course, we are here for you. I feel that well, I've built a team of the best traders in the world, period, right now inside of the Bitcoin market to be here for you every step of the way. Every step of the way, 24, <laughs> basically 24 hours a day, seven days a week. We are here inside of the group to assist you. So we obviously, we are an educational group. We are not a signals group. If you're after signals, you, you will walk away disappointed. We are here to educate you. We are here to help you. And then you can end up making your own signals, maybe with a little bit of guidance for what I say in the Champions live streams. But I'm just going to end with that. Thank you ever so much, everybody. Hope I've opened your eyes to seeing how you can short this market, even in a big uptrend. Thank you ever so much, everybody. Hope you've enjoyed. And if you have, smash those likes. Smash the likes as hard as you can. Smash them, smash them, smash them. Of course, no financial advice, educational entertainment stream only. Hope you've enjoyed. That's me signing out. And uh, yeah, thank you ever so much and have an absolutely wonderful week. Cheers, everybody, and goodbye.